Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about EC-135 and EC-145 pilot doors, the left and right pilot, co-pilot, and sometimes they're hard to close and latch. And if they are, you're probably going to want to take a look at the, the latch bushings and the bolts uh, that hold the bushings onto the, um, I guess it's the fitting on the floor. There's uh, one on the top, one on the bottom, both sides. And we're just going to go over that because this is something that gets overlooked. All right, so right there is the top latch and with the door closed, nothing spectacular. So when you close the door or you shut the door with the door handle, you close the door handle, that one arm right there, it just grabs the fitting with the bushings in it. There's a picture of an old bushing or an old fitting. I mean, the old bushing with the bolt, uh, there's a part of the bolt that's not on here or the other, it's just called a screw. Um, there's no, I don't have a picture of that right here. But the one on the top that's old, obviously it's all worn out. It still has paint on it, so maybe it was original from the factory, not sure. Not sure which aircraft this came from. Um, but right there underneath the bolt head, man, see where it got, see where that big huge step in the bolt? That's where it was rubbing on the fitting. It just wore a huge groove in it, and obviously a whole bunch of just other wear on these parts. Not a huge deal, but uh, your door will close and open a lot smoother if you just replace these. And also throw some grease underneath those bushings and on top of that, or inside that bolt. Well, between the bolt and the bushing, it's kind of um, hard to get in. There's really no space in between those two, but you could put a little bit of grease in there when you put it together. All right, so where do we find these? Uh, that's in the fuselage section of the IPC. I'm looking in the EC-135 maintenance, uh, maintenance manual. EC-135 manual, the Illustrated Parts Catalog, IPC. It's chapter 5312, which is fittings and supports. And the IPC is 5312-0101. Bolt part number is L521 Mike 109-1208. The sleeves are part number Lima 521 Mike 109-1209. And the screw... Uh, that screws into the other side of that bolt is L521 Mike 109-1207. And if we jump over to the EC145 manual, it's the same, same parts. On the screenshot here, it doesn't show the part number because I didn't click that blue um, plus sign to expand the retainer section, but that's what it's called. It's called a retainer. I keep calling it fitting, my bad. But anyway, the 145 has the same parts, okay? So if you have the parts, great. Do the job. Well, where in the maintenance manual does it show you how to do this? It doesn't show you in the maintenance manual, so no worries. So I reached out to the tech support, our tech rep, our local guy, and he dug in his paperwork. He found this drawing from wherever. I don't know, the assembly, I guess, the original assembly. But right here is notes two and three, and we got to see what that says. So note, note two, said, or I'm sorry, note three is free of paint, so no paint on those bushings. And note two says Loctite 243. And he also says tart, uh, tartan. He also says tighten in accordance with standard practices. Pretty simple, but you never would have known about Loctite 243. But you probably, if you're just a normal dude, probably would have put some Loctite on it anyway. So we just look up Loctite 243. What is it? Loctite 243 is blue medium strength thread locker. What's special about it? Well, it locks and seals metal nuts and bolts to prevent loosening due to shock and vibration. Medium strength and removable with hand tools. All right. There's a bunch of other notes here, but one that I think is a little important. It says, proven to tolerate minor contamination by industrial oils like motor oil, corrosion prevention oil, and other cutting fluids. All right. So it's resistant to oil. Great. Where do we buy this? Well, look, Granger has it. Perfect. Loctite 243. It's $22 for a little thing of it right half of an ounce also on granger they have the tiny size of loctite 242 what's the difference between 243 and 242 the only thing i could find out is 242 is not as resistant to oil so if that's all you had do what you got to do but what i guess what i'm saying is on granger they have this small tiny size and it's like four dollars without a discount it keeps you from, I mean, you don't need to buy the big 20 ounce thing of Loctite. If you readily use Loctite, you're going to end up getting rid of it because it expires. You know what I mean? So nothing wrong with getting this tiny little thing of it. But the job we're doing says Loctite 243, and you'd only know that if you reach out to tech support. So it's a pretty easy job, not a big deal. A seven millimeter wrench to hold on to both sides of that bolt and the screw. You unscrew it, take it apart, clean it up, put the new one on. A little bit of grease inside of there put some loctite on the threads of the screw easy right not hard at all so just trying to help you guys out but while we're talking about doors the pilot doors 
I see this installed incorrectly too quite often. Um, the pilot doors, they're not the uh, the top and the bottom fittings are not installed the same. Uh, the top fitting has no washers in between the airframe fitting and the door fitting. There's space, so it can move up and down. The bottom fitting has two washers that go on each side of the, the door bearing on the door side and go in between the airframe fitting. In this uh, maintenance manual figure right here, it's number nine are the washers. But anyway, if you follow the line for the bolt, it goes through the upper fitting of the airframe side. It goes through the washer, then it goes through the bearing, then it goes through the other washer, then it goes through the other side of the airframe fitting, then it goes through another washer, and then it goes through the nut. Not complicated, but the reason it is this way is because when you open and close that door, the airframe is not uh, straight, it's rounded a little bit. So when you open and close the door, when it pivots, it moves up and down on that top bolt. The bearing moves up and down, up and down on that top bolt just a little bit. But if you have washers in there jammed up, then it, it will be bound up and will end up wearing out your bearing or your bolt or whatever. So just another thing to look out for. Not complicated. Cockpit door retainers. Uh, I call them fittings. I don't know, but appreciate you guys tuning into the channel. Uh, if you found some value in this video, maybe hit a like, maybe share it with some of your buddies. Get the word out to some guys who are new on EC135s and 145s. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.